So good afternoon to the jury, my honourable jury members and the other participants in the conference today. So my topic is uh, on the nauseous nitrogen. That is, I'll be discussing about the liquid nitrogen and its harmful effects. So how dangerous is liquid nitrogen? Liquid nitrogen has a boiling point of minus one ninety six degrees centigrade. And is used for many things due to its ability to produce very low temperatures. Is it? It is used as a coolant for computers in medicine to remove unwanted skin warts and precancerous cells. And in cryogenics, where scientists study the effect of very cold temperatures on materials. And now, thanks to the innovation of few internationally renowned chefs, it has become increasingly common at top restaurants as a method. For instantly freezing food and drinks, or creating an impressive cloud of vapor or fog when exposed to air, before chefs uh, chefs took this cryogen into the kitchen, liquid nitrogen was away from away in laboratories and usually came with a lengthy sheet of safety precautions. Precautions were like wear clean and dry clothing that covers both your arms and legs. Clothing should be loose so it is easy to remove if an in accident takes place. Avoid wearing open trouser pockets and wrap sleeves. Wear cryogenic gloves under the sleeves so no liquid can fall in the gloves. Wear safety glasses and facial protection. But since its arrival into the culinary world, a quick search on the internet will find you all kinds of recipes that include liquid nitrogen, such as nitro caramel popcorn, pie ice cream, among others. This could interest many people into thinking that liquid nitrogen is fun to use and should be experimented with to create amazing effects with food and drink to impress your guest the fact is liquid nitrogen is dangerous if not handled properly it can cause frostbite or cryogenic burns and if used or spilled in a confined space liquid nitrogen which is colorless odorless and tasteless can kill you because it is not harmless this is because liquid nitrogen has a large expansion ratio and also if there is not enough oxygen in the air you can't breathe so basic hazards of liquid nitrogen is that it produces extreme cold vapor of liquid nitrogen can rapidly freeze skin tissue and eye fluid resulting in cold burns frost bite and permanent eye damage even by brief exposure Asphyxiation, asphyxiation. I'm sorry. Liquid nitrogen expands six ninety five times in volume when it vaporizes and has no warning properties such as odor or color. Hence, if sufficient liquid nitrogen is vaporized so as to reduce the oxygen percentage to below ninety nineteen point five percent, there is a risk of oxygen deficiency and may cause unconsciousness. Deaths may result if oxygen deficiency is extreme. To prevent asphyxiation hazards, handlers have to make sure that the room is well ventilated when using cryogens indoors. Pressure buildup and explosion is the other hazard related to liquid nitrogen. Without adequate venting or pressure relief devices on the containers, enormous pressure can build up, can build upon cryogen evaporations. So every user must make sure that these liquids are never contained in a closed system. Use a pressure relief vessel or a venting lid to protect against process buildup. A recent case study: recently, a thirty-year-old man drank a liquid nitrogen chilled drink at a deli bar and ended up with a big hole in his stomach. This was a case, and he was uh, immediately taken to the hospital, where uh, a part of his stomach has to be removed because of the hole created by the liquid nitrogen. So, in conclusion, caution is the key. Use of liquid nitrogen is good until used in limited extent and carefully. A bit of carelessness may create major problems. The beneficial freezing property of liquid nitrogen is also its dangerous effect. Vapor of liquid could immediately freeze your skin tissues and cause cold burns. If a person swallows a bit of it, it may cause expansion of liquid nitrogen in the stomach that will really uh, that may lead to death so uh, our food safety and standards authority of india has permitted the use of liquid nitrogen since 2011 but it has recently trickled down to restaurants and ice cream parlors in india's leading metropolitan cities
the problem is that it is uh, it was allowed for the manufacturing and food packaging industries to being uh, to be used but in our restaurants it is being greatly used and it may be uh, very dangerous if it is not handled properly so the reason is we should avoid using this and we should try to give this trend a miss such because uh, it's better to be safe than to be sorry the forensic significance of this uh, poster is that uh, many people can use the uh, liquid nitrogen and can um, use liquid nitrogen in a, a disadvantageous form and can harm people intentionally so thank you this was my poster all about uh,